Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph of a design. And I really had to do some looking, and then I kind of figured it out. I'm going to take a rectangle or a square and hold down the control button. I am going to grab the shape tool, holding down the control key. The control key only allows that one corner to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a curve. And by doing that, we can take away one of the nodes. And I'm going to right click on that node and break it apart. Then I'm going to take a two point line, just like right in there. And I'm going to delete this section. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to hit F12 on the keyboard. I got to have it selected. F12 on the keyboard and I'm going to make it one inch. But I'm also going to hit F12 on the keyboard and make it rounded end caps. There's the design, basically. We just need to take one of them now and elongate. If you hold down your control button, it'll elongate it. Now, about right there, I'm going to bring in an indexing line. Don't really probably have to do this, but I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Double click on the rotation and put the rotation off the center, but on that line. And then I'm going to rotate it. 90 degrees and then control D control D mine has a little bit more space between them maybe so you could have maybe not made this one quite so long and, and actually brought the other one in closer you could still do it let's just back up here it's real easy to do take your shift key or take your your control button so it'll stay parallel kind of so now it's a little bit closer and let's bring that up whoop I had them both selected and I've actually got two copies. So I'm gonna delete one of the copies. Okay, grab the shift, the shape tool. You know, it's probably good enough the way it is. I had them both selected again. Bring that up. Don't worry about the indexing line. Control D to make a duplicate. Double click on the X and Double click on the X to, and move your bullseye. Kind of even with that node right there. It probably doesn't have to be perfect. Rotate it 45, 90 degrees. Control D, control. Ah, Corel does that every once in a while, even though you're at that. So go control D and rotate it 180 degrees and then control D. And then you could change if they need, well, and it's also, let's group it together, control G. And now let's rotate it 45 degrees to get it that direction. Now you can always sample that color. Um, probably the easiest thing to do would be to left. Well, it is a lot. It's still a line. So let's see if we can't just change the line. I don't think, I don't know if the smart field tool will work on a line. Let's get a sample of this. Nope, it's got to be, well, what we could do is go up to a range. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's break it all apart. Ungroup it. Let's just take it away. Take away our problem. Now we could uh, go up to a range and convert the outline to an object. Then you could left click, right click, and then get your smart fill tool. We still got that same blue. Take that color, take away the outline, control D and make a duplicate. This might be a little bit more difficult because we're at that angle now, but it should still work. Rotate it 90 degrees, control D, control D. That's pretty much that drawing. Even the same color. I don't know if he needed that color, but um, there's a lot you could do. That's a pretty cool design. There's a lot you could do with that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.